Sherman. Welcome back to News Channel 3. Addiction and substance abuse can take a physical and emotional toll on the millions of women affected by it. But a West Michigan facility is providing a place to empower women and to start over. This morning, we have Kristen Reinick here this morning to talk all about the Sanford House and what programs they have to offer to women. Good morning to you, Kristen. Good morning, Jessica. So the Sanford House, what inspired you to create this? Oh, so much. Um, my inspiration um, really comes from my personal experience with addiction. Um, I'm in long-term recovery, but more than that, um, just working in the field of helping women uh, in particular um, find recovery and, and experience a whole new life really inspired me. Um, I've been working in this field for a couple years now, and um, one of my good friends and founder of Sanford House offered a position, you know, um, as one of the founding members of Stanford House, and that was last April. And I've been with Stanford House ever since, and it's been an amazing transformation. Well, congratulations on Thank it. You. So you're counseling women because you've been there firsthand. You know what they're going through. Right. So I've seen the pictures of Stanford House online. Absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Talk about the interior of this oh. building and how it helps inspire healing. Yeah, well, it's it's kind of um, neat because it's the transformation of the house. It's an 1847 house um, that was totally renovated, totally renovated. Um, and the Greens, the, the founders, totally renovated it within four months. So it was a like Fast. crazy experience. Um, but the you know the transformation of the house we can kind of bring into um, how the women are transforming as well. And we teach them about the history of the home and um, you know the richness and and all that. So um, it really allows for healing. It's um, a very safe safe feel to the house. When you walk in the doors, you just feel like you're at home. It's not institutional whatsoever, and we're all female staff, so it's, um, and, and we're such a small, intimate setting that we really get to almost make a little family, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, close, personal very connections, close, yeah. very comfortable. Yeah. So what kind of programs, then, do you folks offer? We offer um, outpatient. Um, we offer intensive outpatient, which is usually a step down from residential, or for the working mom who, who can't come to residential and lives close. Um, and we offer residential programming for up to 10 women. Um, and that program is very individualized. We have some women who stay for 10 days, because that's all they can do, um, all the way up to, to 90. So, um, so we make every individual who comes to the door, their treatment plan is different than the, the rest of the house, which is, fun, which is good. Customized then? Customized, totally customized and tailored to them. Okay, so if people want to learn more about Sanford House, yeah. how should they get involved? Um, I would visit our website. Um, our website is SanfordHouseGR.com. Um, there's a place there for you where you could submit um, like a question. You don't even have to fill out inform like your name or it can your be number. Anonymous. Totally anonymous. And it comes to me. I'm the admissions counselor. Okay. So often I'm the first person that someone will talk to, either on the phone or an email. Um, you can email info at SanfordHouseGR.com. Um, and we're also, uh, we have all the social media. So if you look up Sanford House and Grand Rapids, um, you'll find tons on Google and different ways to contact us. And our phone number is um, 616 Two eight eight six nine seven zero. Okay, we'll also have all that information she just mentioned on our website, WWMT.com. Kristen, thank you so much. Yes, thank you.